Lewin with two. His pass is stolen by Forrest. Man joining Forrest. Forrest on the way. And no foul. Wide has it. Two seconds left. They throw it away. And Florida State's home on beating streak against non conference foes lose to. Defense generates offense. You know, that's where our energy comes from. That's where my energy comes from um, when I'm worried about the defensive side. You know, usually you don't have to think about the offensive side. Within the past few seasons, Florida State men's basketball has gone from simply being a competitive team to becoming a dominating force in the ACC, making it into the Elite Eight last season for only the third time in school history. And what's led to their success is not only how well they run their own plays, but how hard they make it for their opponents to run theirs. We, we talked to him before the tournament that offense got us into the tournament, but if we were going to stay in the tournament, it was going to be our defense. And, you know, our kids really even ratcheted up their defense to another level. And Coach Hamilton got more compliments from our opposing co coaches about their inability to run their playbook with any kind of efficiency during those, those runs in the Elite Eight last year. But being a good defensive player is more than just getting blocks and making steals. It really starts from just everybody talking and having energy on defense. I mean, it's not really one person that plays defense. It's kind of all five guys against the ball. So that's just kind of where the communication comes in to have a good defense. Along with communication, Seminole basketball is known for Coach Hamilton's signature junkyard dog defense. Uh, he always has these certain catchphrases and pet phrases that he uses with the team. And even back when we were at the University of Miami, he would always tell us, you got to play defense like you're a bunch of junkyard dogs. And he tried to describe how junkyard dogs have to defend the, the junkyard and keep people out of, of, uh, of those places and uh, that toughness and tenacity. Um, defense is more of a pride thing. You know, you, do, you don't want to get scored on because it kind of looks bad. But um, being here at Florida State, that's our, that's our motto is our junkyard dog defense and that's our basically our, how people view us and we want people to be scared when they come into Tallahassee or when we step onto their floor that the junkyard dog is in effect. With the end goal of making it even deeper into the tournament this season, a new defensive tradition is helping to motivate these junkyard dogs even further. I was looking at different ways to enhance our program and uh, we take, obviously take defense really seriously here at Florida State. And, but I wanted to find something that really meant a lot to Florida State and our tradition and really resembles what Unconquered is about. And, and I thought about a spear and um, I went ahead and started doing a lot of research to see um, where I could find one. Goldstein found a diehard Seminole fan to build a custom spear for the team, which is now awarded to the highest graded defender after each game. 1%. Trent Forrest. It's like a little competition inside of the team, so everybody wants to compete at the highest level on the defensive end so that they can win the Spear of the Week. For the players, being awarded the Spear not only generates extra competition, it gives them a sense of accomplishment for all their defensive effort. My first time, uh, thank you, Kurt. <laughs> it was my first time winning it. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's really good for our team because it's just like a side where we can be competitive, something that we can compete at uh, each week to get. And I think that, you know, by winning that, it definitely gave me confidence because I've been trying to win it for I don't know how long. I was like, I don't know if my time will come or not, but I got it. But, you know, I want to keep getting it and continue to keep getting it. I mean, it felt like, like my hard work's been paying off, not only being viewed as a shooter, but also as a defensive player. So it was kind of satisfying for me. I mean, it's just an added incentive to working hard and you know we have a, such a great group of guys this year and everybody's they're, they're playing for one another. And... With the drive to not only defeat their opponent but to also become a standout defender on the team, the Knolls are pushing themselves harder than ever in hopes of making this season's March Madness last just a few games longer than in the past. I'm Abby Radica for Seminole Sports Magazine.